Good morning, brothers and sisters. We will now pray the Holy Rosary. Please kneel. O sacred feast, in, in which, which you partake of Christ, his sufferings, sufferings are remembered, our minds are filled with his grace, and we receive the pledge of the glory which is to be yours. You gave them bread from heaven to be their food, and this bread contained all goodness. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May your worship of this sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you want for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For for to we beseech you, O Lord, Lord your, your grace into our hearts, hearts that, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, may you by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, now and will be, forever. Amen. Let us meditate on the sorrowful mysteries. The first sorrowful mystery is the agony in the garden. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. The second sorrowful mystery is the scourging at the pillar. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The third sorrowful mystery is the crowning with thorns. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. The fourth sorrowful mystery is the carrying of the cross. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fifth sorrowful mystery is the crucifixion and death of Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. We fly to your patronage, O, o Holy Mother, Mother of God. Despise not our petitions in our necessities, but deliver us from all dangers, O ever glorious and blessed Virgin. Queen of the Holy Rosary of Manawa, pray for us that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O, o God, God, whose only, only begotten Son, by His, his life, death, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Blended garment. Let us pray. Father, who entrusted our Savior to the care of St. Joseph, by the help of his prayers, may your Church continue to serve our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Jubilee Prayer O God, our Father and Creator, 
in whom we live and move and have our being. We praise you as we gather in gentle grace and gratitude on this jubilee of the Dominican province of the Philippines. O God the Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, we preach you as the way, the truth, and the life, whose name we proclaim, whose love we strive to incarnate. O God the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide, we bless you and seek the outpouring of your presence in the witness of our words and works, in the consecration of our lives to the holy preaching, in speaking only to you and about you, let our celebration be filled with fidelity to our mission, with hope for your promise, and with true charity binding us all, in the gospel we share with all peoples. By your will, O God, in your name, O Lord. Amen. Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, pray for us. Our Holy Father, Saint Dominic, pray for us. Please be seated for a while. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Today is Tuesday in the first week of Ordinary Time. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church integrated the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invited to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. <coughs> Lord, open my lips, and, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Come, let us worship our mighty King and Lord. Come, let us worship our mighty King and Lord. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before Him, singing for joy. Come, let us worship our mighty King and Lord. Know that He, the Lord, is God. He made us who belong to Him. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Come, Come let, let us worship, worship our mighty King, King Lord. and Lord. Go within his gates giving thanks. Enter his courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. Come, let us worship our mighty King and Lord. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal his merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Come, let us worship our mighty King and Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship our mighty King and Lord. Zion sing, break into song, for within you is the Lord, with His saving power. Rise and shine forth, for your light has come, and upon you breaks the glory of the Lord. For the darkness covers the earth, and the thick clouds the people. Zion sing, break into song, for within you is the Lord, with his saving power. But upon you the Lord shall dawn, and in you his splendor shall be revealed. Your light shall guide the Gentiles on their path, and kings shall walk in your brightness. Zion sing, break into song, for within you is the Lord with his saving power. Please be seated. The man whose deeds are blameless and whose heart is pure will climb the mountain of the Lord. The Lord's is the earth and its fullness, the world and all its peoples. It is he who set it on the sea, on the waters he made it firm. Who shall climb the mountain of the Lord? Who shall stand in his holy place? The man with clean hands and pure heart, who desires not wordless things, who has not sworn so as to deceive his neighbor, 
he shall receive blessings from the Lord and reward from the God who saves him. Such are the men who seek him, seek the face of the God of Jacob. O gates, lift high your heads, go higher, ancient doors. Let him enter, the King of glory. Who is the King of glory? The Lord, the mighty, the valiant, the Lord, the valiant in war. O gates, lift high your heads, go higher, ancient doors. Let him enter, the King of glory. Who is he, the King of glory? He, the Lord of armies, he is the King of glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Praise the Eternal King in all your deeds. Blessed be God who lives forever, because His kingdom lasts from all, for all ages. For His scourges and then has mercy, He casts down to the depths of the netherworld, and He brings up from the great abyss. No one can escape His hand. Praise Him, you Israelites, before the Gentiles. For though He has scattered you among them, He has shown you His greatness even there. Exalt Him before every living being, because He is the Lord our God, our Father and God forever. He scourged you for your iniquities, but will again have mercy on you all. He will gather you from all the Gentiles, among whom you have been scattered. When you turn back to Him with all your heart to do what is right before Him, then He will turn back to you and no longer hide His face from you. So now consider what He has done for you, and praise Him with full voice. Bless the Lord of righteousness, and exalt the King of the ages. In the land of my exile I praise Him, and show His power and majesty to a sinful nation. Turn back, you sinners, do the right before Him. Perhaps He may look with favor upon you, and show you mercy. As for me, I exalt my God and my spirit rejoices in the King of heaven. Let all men speak of His majesty and sing His praises in Jerusalem. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. The loyal heart must praise the Lord. Bring out your joy to the Lord, O you just, for praise is fitting for loyal hearts. Give thanks to the Lord upon the heart, with a ten-string lute, sing him songs. O sing him a song that is new, play loudly with all your skill. For the word of the Lord is faithful, and all his works to be trusted. The Lord loves justice and right, and fills the earth with his love. By his word the heavens were made, by the breath of his mouth all the stars. He collects the waves of the ocean, he stores up the depths of the sea. Let all the earth fear the Lord, all who live in the world revere Him. He spoke and it came to be, He commanded it sprang into being. He frustrates the designs of the nations, He defeats the plans of the peoples. His own design shall stand forever, the plans of His heart from age to age. They are happy whose God is the Lord, the people He has chosen as His own. From the heavens the Lord looks forth, he sees all the children of men. From the place where he dwells, he gazes on all the dwellers on the earth. He who shapes the hearts of them all and considers all their deeds. A king is not saved by his army, nor a warrior preserved by his strength. A vain hope for safety is the horse. Despite its power, it cannot save. The Lord looks on those who revere him, on those who hope in his love to rescue their souls from death, to keep them alive in famine. Our soul is waiting for the Lord. The Lord is our help and our shield. In Him do our hearts find joy. We trust in His holy name. May your love be upon us, O Lord, as we place all our hope in You. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Attend to the peace of your people with heavenly care, O Lord, we pray, that they may see what must be done and gain strength to do what they have seen. 
through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first book of Samuel. Hannah rose after a meal at Shiloh and presented herself before the Lord. At the time, Eli the priest was sitting on a chair near the doorpost of the Lord's temple. In her bitterness, she prayed to the Lord, weeping copiously, and she made a vow, promising, O Lord of hosts, if you look with pity on the misery of your handmaid, if you remember me and do not forget me, if you give your handmaid a male child, I will give him to the Lord for as long as he lives. Neither wine nor liquor shall, be, shall he drink, and no razor shall ever touch his head. As she remained long at prayer before the Lord, Eli watched her mouth, for Hannah was praying silently. Though her lips were moving, her voice could not be heard. Eli, thinking her drunk, said to her, How long will you make a drunken show of yourself? Sober up from your wine. It isn't that, my lord, Hane answered. I am an unhappy, unhappy woman. I have had neither wine nor liquor. I was only pouring out my troubles to the Lord. Do not think your handmaid a never do well. My prayer has been prompted by my deep sorrow and misery. Eli said, Go in peace, and may the God of Israel grant you what you have asked of him. She went to her quarters, ate and drank with her husband, and no longer appeared downcast. Early the next morning, they worshipped before the Lord, and then returned to their home in Ramah. When Elkanah had relations with his wife Hannah, the Lord remembered her. She conceived, and at the end of her term, bore a son, whom she called Samuel, since she had asked the Lord for him. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. My heart exalts in the Lord God. My horn is exalted in my God. I have swallowed up my enemies. I rejoice in my victory. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. The bows of the mighty are broken, while the tottering geared on strength. The well-fed hire themselves out for bread, while the hungry batten on spoil. The barren wife bears seven sons, while the mother of many languishes. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. The Lord puts to death and gives life. He casts down to the netherworld. He raises up again. The Lord makes poor and makes rich. He humbles, he also exalts. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. He raises the needy from the dust. From the dung hip, he lifts up the poor, to seat them with nobles, and make a glorious throne their heritage. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. Please stand. Receive the word of God, not as the word of men, but as it truly is, the word of God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus came to Capernaum with his followers, and on the Sabbath, he entered the synagogue and taught. The people were astonished at his teaching, for he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes. In their synagogue was a man with an unclean spirit. He cried out, What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? 
have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Jesus rebuked him and said, Quiet and come out of him. The unclean spirit convulsed him and with a loud cry came out of him. All were amazed and asked one another, What is this? A new teaching with authority. He commands even the unclean spirits, and they obey him. His fame spread everywhere throughout the whole region of Galilee. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat at welcome po sa Minor Basilica ng Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawang. The authority of Jesus, saan nga ba nang gagaling at paano nga ba ito lumalabas? Sabi nga, the authority of Jesus Christ heals, it transforms people, it inspires people. That is His authority. Kaya nga nagulat yung mga tao during that time. Ano ito? Kakaiba ang kanyang pagsasalita. Kakaiba ang kanyang preaching. Why? Because it heals. It transforms people. It inspires people. Bakit? Kakaiba nga. Sapagat ang kanyang mga salita ay hindi lamang nanggagaling kung kani-kanino. Sabi nga, kakaiba yung kanyang preaching sapagkat hindi ito nanggaling kung kanino man, kundi ito ay nanggaling sa kanya mismo. Siya ang salita na naging tao. Siya po'y pinadala ng Diyos dito sa mundong ibabaw na ito. Hindi lamang pang magbigay ng mensahe, kundi siya mismo ay maging mensahe. He was sent not just to bring the message, but to be the message. After all, He is God. Kaya nga kung titignan natin yung kanyang preaching, it is with power, it is with authority, because it is from the will of God. He is God. Doon po nanggagaling ang kanyang kapangyarihan. Pero more than that, dito rin natin makikita na ang kanyang buhay eh, kung ano ang kanyang sinasabi, ganun din ang kanyang ginagawa. Ang kapangyarihan ng kanyang salita na nanggaling sa Diyos, ito ang kalooban ng Diyos, nagkatawang tao sa Kanya, at ito po'y sinasabuhay niya. In our term for today, that witnessing. Kaya nga ang tanong dito, can we speak with authority just like Jesus? The answer is no. We cannot be like Jesus. But in a certain reasonable degree of authority, we can. Sapagat after all, He is God, He is Jesus. Kakaiba ang salita ay nanggaling sa Kanya at Siya mismo ang minsahe. Kaya nga, during that time, yung mga iba kapag ka magsasalita sila eh, ayon kay propeta, o palaging merong reference, merong footnote, kay Jesus Christ wala. Kaya nga nung pinaalis yung demonyo, umalis agad. Why? He is God. His words are powerful. It inspires people. It transforms people. It heals people. Ang tanong, can we speak with authority? Yes, in a certain degree of authority. Yes, we can. Paano po? Mapapansin natin sa ating mga relationships, di ba mayroon tayong authority? Halimbawa, mga nanay, may authority doon sa kanilang anak. Pag kinausap mo yung anak mo, di ba, nanay ka eh. Tawag natin yan is authority of love. Because you love. It is an authority out of love. Kaya pag, sinag- pag pinagsabihan ka ng tatay mo, ng nanay mo, you believe it, susundin mo. Bakit? Relationship. Out of respect susundin mo. Di ba minsan may mga bata kasi ngayon, kunting ano na nagre-reklamo na sa mga parents. Minsan eh, nasabihin na ano, Father, ayoko sa parents ko. Minsan napapa, 
Napapailing ako bakit? O napapatala ako ng bakit? Gusto niyang kung ano ang gusto gusto niyang gawin sa buhay. Gusto magrebelde. Sabi ko sa kanya, eh, parents mo yun eh. They have the authority over you in this world. Hanggat na sa puder ka nila, may authority ka sila sa iyo. It is an authority out of love. Hindi ba? Mga parents dito. Wala naman sigaw ang parents dito na gusto mapariwara ang anak. Wala, di ba? Kaya kapag ka may mga bata-bata pa dito, pag pinagsabihan kayo ng parents ninyo, sundin nyo. Wala naman siguro ng parents na gusto na anak. Lumabas ka sa gabi, lumabog ka ng uh, curfew dito, magpabuntis ka doon, magdrugs ka doon, pag nahuli. Uy, anak, nasa TV ka, drug addict ka pala. We are so proud of you. Wala. They have the authority because they love us. Meron pa isang authority na kung minsan nakukuha natin dahil sa ating paghihirap, yung tinatawag natin na diploma. I have the authority to teach. Sapagat graduate ako ng ganito, so on and so forth. May masteral pa, may PhD pa. Authority din yan, di ba? May authority din tinatawag natin na out of an experience. May mga edad na sasabihin sa atin, ay nako, pinagdaanan ko na yan. Believe me. These are people with authority. But in our faith, sa ating panampalataya po, saan na ba dapat nakaugat ang ating authority? When we preach to people, when we teach people, hindi lamang dapat ito nakaugat doon sa tinatawag natin na kaibigan na si Google, yung sa ating nababasa. Dapat ito po yung nakaugat sa ating panampalataya sa Diyos. Ngayon may pandemya, ang daming may authority sa medicine. Daming may comment about sa vaccine. Ganun talaga ang Pinoy. Feeling doktor, feeling expert. So, ganun, mag election na naman, marami na ng authority. Marami na ng magiging political analyst. I don't know kung ano ba talaga. But in our faith, ito po, sa ating panampalataya, our faith, our preaching, should be from the Word of God and in a relationship with God. At kung paano natin ito isinasabuhay, tandaan natin yung salitang witnessing. Meron pong kapangyarihan dyan sa witnessing. Bakit? Isang halimbawa lang. Kapag ka ikaw po ay sinasabi mong you have the power of witnessing, Halimbawa, kapag ka nagsabi ako sa inyo na, Uy, magpatawad kayo. Tapos mabalitaan niyo pala na meron pala akong hinaway, meron pala o isang, isang halimbawa lang. Nung naasign ako sa Dabao, galing ako sa isang mall, itago na natin sa initial na SM. No? Paglabas ko, galing sa grocery, may hump doon eh, bago ka lalabas doon sa SM mismo. Nung palapit ako sa ham, siyempre magmi-minor ka. Biglang merong bumunggo sa aking likuran. Pag! Lakas. Sabi ko, patay. Binangga ako sa likod. Nung makita ko, may motor. Tapos eh, pagbaba ko, tininang ko yung sasakyan. May gas-gas dun sa ilalim. Sa gilid. Medyo malaki-laki din. Tapos merong yupi ng konti. Tininang ko yung ano, Manong! Sabi ko, Bisaya, eh, naunsa, makanong? Anong nangyari sa'yo, kuya? Parang ganon. Anong nangyari sa'yo, sir? Sabi niya, sir, ah, sabi niya, sir, sorry po, sir, ah. Mabilis ang takbo ko. Sabi ko, nasa mall pa tayo. Ingat ka. Tapos sabi niya, sir, paano po ito? Lumapit yung gwardya. Siyempre, pag may mga aksidente yung ganyan, lalapit yung gwardya, incident report. Tapos may, may ano siya, may angkas pa siya na anak niya. Sabi ko sa kanya, tinginan ko yung gas-gas. Tapos yung ano, Sir, bayaran ko na lang po, sir. Ako, okay. Tinan ko siya, okay ka lang po ba? <laughs> okay lang po ba kayo? Nung anak mo, nakangiti pa ako, okay lang kayo? Sir, patawarin niyo ako, sir. Ay, nung ganun pa, nagmamakaawa. Siyempre, additional gastos din yun. Sige na. 
go na. Uh, okay lang, ganun talaga. Pagka may sasakyan ka, minsan magagasgasan yan. Okay na. It's okay. Para bang inaano ko, I forgive you. Okay. One time, nagmisa ako sa isang simbahan doon. Nag-attend siya kasama ang kanyang pamilya, buong angkan. May reunion ata sila. After ng mihe. Tapos ang gospel during that time, ang gospel during that time, is timing na timing. Di ba yung unforgiving servant, kung maalala nyo yun, na pinatawad siya ng kanyang master. Pero yung kanyang kapwa servant, hindi niya pinatawad. Forgiveness yun eh. Tamang-tama ko yung nagmisa. Pagkatapos ng misa ko, lumapit sa akin. Father, naalala niyo pa po ako. Sabi ko, sa dami-dami na namimit ko araw-araw, hindi na po kayo, hindi ko na po kayo maalala. Father, ako po yung nakabangga sa inyo na pinatawad niyo. Imagine, kung pinagalitan ko yun, kung sinisigaw-sigawan ko yun, ano na kayo sasabihin niya sa akin habang nagbimisa ako about forgiveness? Sasabihin niya, eh, ang lakas ng loob magsabi ng forgiveness, patagpatawad. Nung ako, sinisigaw-sigawan niya, walang niya yan. So imagine mo, na pagkatapos ng misa ko, instead na ano, nagpasalamat sa akin, nagpa-picture pa. Ewan ko, kumusta na kaya yon Sana buhay pa yon at nag-iingat na. You see, even in that simple act of kindness, in that simple act of living out that forgiveness, it can be a source of authority. Imagine mo na lang, pagsabihin na, makikita niya ako, forgiveness, forgiveness, na sinisigaw-sigawan mo. Sabihin mo, magpakabait kayo, hindi ka mabait. Kaya nga, there are certain reasonable degree of authority. If we listen to the Word of God, if we have faith and our relationship with the Lord, is deepened with our personal relationship with Him. And we live the teaching of Jesus Christ. Yan yung tinatawag natin na witnessing. You may not have the doctorate for that, the masteral for that, but the authority when you say, Sige na, magpatawad ka na, kasi hindi lang dahil kailangan mo yan, alam ko rin kung paano magpatawad sapagkat kailangan natin yang isa buhay. Remember this, that our authority is from the Lord who loved us, who has forgiven us, and who lived among us. We just mirror His authority. And remember this, His authority, and hopefully also our authority, would also, would also heal transform and inspire other people. Let us all stand. Through the gospel, Christ speaks to us with words of eternal authority and deeds of healing power. Through Him, let us pray with confidence and for every petition we shall answer, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may continue to teach Christ's truth and combat the evils of our time. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That world leaders may promote righteousness in their governments and be zealous in eradicating evils in the societies they are sworn to serve. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may not grow idle in our prayer life so that unclean spirits may not take over our lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may be freed from their physical and spiritual infirmities. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may enjoy the radiant dawn of eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In the silence of our hearts, we also pray for our personal intentions. 
Heavenly Father, we rejoice in your abundant love for us. Establish your authority within us and be our companion on the road of life. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands has become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands has become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May your people's oblation, O Lord, find favor with you, we pray, that may restore them to holiness and obtain what they devoutly entreat through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for just as to your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you form it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we to extol you with all the angels, as in a joyful celebration, we acclaim. <laughs> It holy, O Lord, a fount of holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down the Spirit upon them like the Jewful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
Let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and, and profess, profess your resurrection, resurrection until, until you come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Socrates our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. So stand at the Savior's command and form a divine teaching. We dare to say, Our Father, who, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name, thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation. But, but deliver us, us from Lord. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, you take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. My dear brothers and sisters, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
please kneel for the prayer for the elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. Let us pray together, deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together, hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory, glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. God has raised up for us a mighty Savior, as He promised through the words of His holy prophets. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to His people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of His servant David. Through His holy prophets, He promised of old that He would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers, and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. God has raised up for us a mighty Savior, as He promised through the words of His holy prophets. Let us pray. Humbly we ask you, Almighty God, be gracious and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of rosaries and religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary Manawa. May these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.